welcome back to my channel, or hi if you're new, I'm Leanne. Nice to meet you and have you here. Either way. <laughs> um, so today we are doing a very anticipated video. This is going to be the video about how I decorated or painted or jazzed up my Jane Davenport butterfly book. This is a blank canvas journal for those of you that don't know. You can get, it's the new mixed media line. It comes looking like this from Michaels um, or janedavenport.com. It runs you around $12.99. It's just like a traveler's notebook, basically, but a canvas one, not leather. But yeah, so super excited to finally get this decorated for you guys. Um, I feel like I'm actually inspired to like set it up and use it now, so maybe that'll be a future video. Who knows? Um, I did decorate it so that you can use, it's like two notebooks in one, if that makes sense. Um, so if you want to see how I did that, then keep watching. Okay guys, so here we go. I did already have this uh, modeling paste, actually I think it was Gesso, on here from a video that I filmed for you guys that you never got to see because I didn't like how it turned out. But yeah, so that's just Gesso through a stencil with some um, Jane Devonport mermaid marker to color it and then here I'm using I thought these stickers were lace and I got them from the Dollar Tree uh, but they're actually like this rubbery texture which is fine because I was using them for this purpose and I'll just put gesso over it anyway but yeah so that was a bit of a surprise kind of a bummer but it still worked out the way I wanted it to I'm sticking everything down with extra heavy gel medium. That's because extra heavy gel is for dimensional items and obviously I want that maybe to stay on there. So I will tell you I did prime my page. I originally, not my page, my notebook. I originally put a hefty coat of clear gesso on it. I did that because I wanted, didn't want things to not run and I wanted them to sit on the surface so that I could play mixed media with it. Otherwise, it will just seep into your page, which I will show you at the end because I decorated part of the inside and forgot to gesso it. So, right here I just was putting on some Heavy Body Acrylic by Liquitex in the bright aqua green because I'm Leanne and that's how I roll. And then this purple is the Liquitex Basics Brilliant Purple. I went for kind of like a mermaidy theme um, just because again that's how I roll. <laughs> but yeah. So trying to heat gun the crap out of it because I'm impatient. And this is uh, just some modeling paste. I left it plain white because I'm going to use sprays over it. This is a stencil from Faber-Castell. I got a set, it was like $6 and I was so happy, it was like 10 mixed media stencils and I didn't read the fact that they were cardboard so they won't last as long as the plastic stencils but hey, for 5 bucks and 10 stencils and a few uses out of each you really can't go wrong. So, oh yeah, so now I'm going to mix up some modeling, more modeling paste. Oh no, this is extra heavy gel. I'm, I'm sorry. This is the matte gel with some uh, siren mermaid marker mixed into it. And I'm just putting more dots on. I've been like super into my mixed media stuff again and just playing around with texture and layers. I don't like putting texture inside of notebooks because I don't like that it's bumpy and trying to write on it. That really annoys me, but I love doing it to the outside of notebooks, so that's why I'm doing it here. This spray is like my holy grail. I use this spray on literally everything I make. This is the Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist um, in Beetle Black. And it's like almost gone. I'm really proud of myself actually. I think I don't think I've ever used up a spray, but that one is almost gone. So I'm gonna have to get another one. 
I also used on here the Tim Holtz Distress Mica Spray in Brush Pewter. And later on you'll see me use the Antique Bronze as well. This is like my second Holy Grail spray of all sprays. This Antique Bronze is like, you'll see it later. It's, it just warms my heart and makes me all warm and fuzzy inside. I love it. I wish I could put it on everything. There it is. So yeah, if you're afraid of black, I'm sorry. You probably just had a heart attack while I was spraying all that black on there. Um, and the water and letting it drip down. But I feel like it just ties everything together. Whoa, jump there. Okay, so I took these two. They're like Tim Holtz metal word things. I don't know. So... I put them on a piece of string that I found in a junk drawer where I'm staying and you might be saying Leanne but one of them is upside down that is correct but there's a reason for my madness so I put one of them upside down because I couldn't choose which side of the canvas I wanted to be the cover because you don't really look at the back very often so what I did was I made the saying flipped upside down so that you can just turn your cover over and have it open the correct way still but have a different decorative piece on the other side so I felt like a genius for that but it's probably it's not that hard and there I was just um, pulling the string a little looser so that I would leave myself some room to put notebooks in without it pulling Oh, and this was, I didn't think the tiny attacher would go through the canvas, but it did. And just remember to let your stuff dry first because you don't want to clog it with modeling paste like I did. It's a bad day. So this is what happens when you don't prime your canvas with gesso. See how it just sucks up all that, like I can't even move it. I just have to put a ton of paint on there. And you'll see again when I spray it, it just like... <laughs> The spray is just like, it won't move at all. It just like sucks it up. So don't forget to prime your page. You don't have to use clear. You can use white, obviously. See, soaked in. Um, that's okay, I didn't mind for this because that was all I was doing, but yeah. So don't forget to prime your page. And I really wanted, I planned on using this on the outside cover. This is um, a Dilutions canvas piece that Pam sent me in Happy Mail. And I had actually wanted these for a while and just never bought myself any, so thank you, Pam. Um, but yeah, I went, used it on the inside instead because I forgot. And then I just put my little elastic back in and I'm gonna put the notebooks back in. This isn't like my official setup or anything, but I just keep them in here because these are things I think I want in here. And that's like my current use it up journal. That's just the six pieces of cardstock that came in the journal. So, which aren't very good either, I would suggest just sewing those because the paper sucks. But yeah, so this is what it turned out to look like. I hope you guys enjoyed and found this inspirational. If you would like to see how I set it up, don't just let me know and I'll do it. Uh, set up when I get around to officially setting it up. <laughs> But yeah, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. It really helps me out. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And go ahead and check me out on Instagram if you haven't done that either because you got a sneak peek of that this video was coming. And I know some of you were very excited about this. So yeah, here I'm just showing you how you can use it both ways. And the light's awful and I'm sorry for that, but it's the end of the video so it's okay. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will see you in my next video. Bye.